If you want to improve your golf game, then you need to play some rounds with this mindset. Before we get into this, I want to say a huge thank you to Tbilisi Hills Golf Club for having us out. This golf course is absolutely epic. Let's go. 188 yards left in. I'm going eight iron. I can't not be long in this green, so hopefully this works out. I had shank in my head the whole time for some reason. Really? All right. I think I got 136. I'm just going with a smooth 50 degree here. And I'm not going to hause it. You can see in this video that I play very aggressively. I'm not worried about course management or even my score. I'm just worried about trying to hit good aggressive golf shots one at a time. Trying to make birdies. Just stop. Don't you dare. Okay, we got birdie putt. <laughs> Alright, long range birdie putt. I want to be aggressive, so f*** cozying up for a two putt par. Although that's exactly what I just did. <laughs> well, I just want to play very aggressive today, guys, so I don't normally go driver, but I am going to go driver this time. Try to get one short of the green. Again, we aren't playing every round like this, but it is good practice, so when you are playing proper rounds and have holes where you can be more aggressive, you Sit know down. how. Yeah, it was well hit. Just I don't know if that bunker extends all the way over there, but I think it might. I think I'm right at that bunker. All right, 86 yards out of the bunker, a little 54 degree. These rounds are great for trying hero shots too. You'll see that some of my greenside shots, I am trying to hit it higher, which yes, is the low percentage play. But now next time you play that match against your buddy, stop. Honestly, I'll take it. And you're short-sighted, you have more confidence trying to pull off that flop shot to keep the match all square. Good pace. All right, even through two. About 155, I got pitching wedge. Kind of draw it in there. Bitch. That thing was fucking huge. Was it on you? He didn't land on me. He was close, though. Fucking sound like an Apache helicopter was landing on me. Just be the one for me. Yeah, that could be it. Oh, go. That's fine. I was trying to be aggressive on this chip, but just stubbed it. Mm. I want to be aggressive today. All right, still even. All right, being aggressive here. Let's try to start this tee ball over the canyon and get it close to the green. That's going to be just fine. You can tell by Sit the down. swing that I lack commitment. 110 yards, playing down downhill a little bit and then into wind. So I'm going to go pretty stock 54 degree. Instantly I have feedback and I know what to work on. I really like it. All parts to start. Okay, well, even to start this off, I'm going to aim up the right with a cut. Nice shot. Thank you. That was hit well. Got 92 into the wind. Gonna just kind of knock down a 60 degree. Go a bit. Yeah, I caught that a little thin. But I'll take it. All right, we got a good little look at birdie here. Swinging left to right. Go. Nice putt. Let's go, baby. One under. Let's go. 309 to the pin. I got driver. Going up high with the cut. Try to get there. Again, with trouble right, I missed so far left of my target. I know I need to work on staying committed on my tee shot when there's trouble on the right side. Oh, I actually saw it bounce. Well, I blew straight through the f trees and everything, and I'm in between the tee box and the next hole. I got 70 yards. Going with the lofted up 60. I'm in one of these rat holes, so my ball is like just hovering over it. Get through it. It was literally just hovering over a rat hole. Damn. All right, I'm going a little nine iron bump here. Get it chasing to the green. All I can do. All right, I really want to make this to stay at one under. One just right of it. <laughs> I thought I did it. Yeah. There you go. Thank you. Good par. Bogey. All right, even par, gettable par five. I'm swinging hard because I want to be aggressive. Bounce a little right for me. Should be okay. I want to be aggressive, but this lie isn't allowing me to, so I got to try to just flop a 60 just to get over these trees and kind of back in place. So got one of these knuckles again. Some moose knuckle. 
Get out. Get out. Okay. I'll make par. Man, these lies have been the story of my life. I got like 220. I got a little three iron. Try to chop a little cut. Simmer. Okay. I'll get that up and down. Just a little feel shot with the 60 degree here. Again, not the greatest lie. Go. Go. Great yardage. All right, we need to get this up and down for bogey. Then go make two birdies on eight and nine. All right, this one's coming in with some speed because I want to make it. <laughs> so much for coming in with speed. <laughs> Ooh. There you go. It's my new putting stroke inside three feet. All right, gonna be aggressive here. Hit driver. Try to go birdie birdie to finish. Perfect. 77 yards, just gonna punch a little 60 degree in there. Spin one off the left hand slope. Go in, go in. Nice try. Man, I wanted that to drop. All right, I'm going right edge, up the hill, right over this little mosquito. 136 yards uphill into wind. I played a lot of golf this day and I was just feeling tired and goofy. Got nine iron. How was my DOD King impression? Good swing. <laughs> I'm gonna have to get handsy with this one. I might use that kind of left slope to help me out here. Gonna go a little bit higher with this for no reason. The conclusion to all of this is that if you want your game to improve, you need to stop playing every round thinking it will be your best round and go out there and have fun and try new things. Because this game is about growth and you won't get better or learn if you keep doing the same things over and over again. Close, but no cigar. Thank you guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed this content from Tbilisi Hills in Georgia. We'll see you in the next one.